McElroy fakes the stutter move. Here is a pass off from to the baseline. That is good by the... Oh, right now they're getting very good shots, but they're not falling for them. Bryant almost gets a steal at midcourt. Here's a Maribyrn bomb, and it's... The Pistol, who is about set to negotiate a new contract with New Orleans, hits and scores. After the game, the Knicks have a charter flight back to New York. Here's a Maravich shot of the lane. It's good. I'm getting any offensive rebound. 350 left in quarter number one. Pete Maravich. Good. Here from LSU. Offensive forward. So the pistol lets it fly and he hits. Our offensive show here. Game at the Garden. First time the Jazz was in. Oh, there's a foul on. It's 27 23. New Orleans. Williams. It's a three on two break. Oh, let's go. Coleman, but it's no good. And Maravich takes the rebound away from Ronnie Sheldon up to Coleman. Score it. Has jump up by 11. Maravich. Boy, he's got all kinds of moves. You? By Howard. Here comes Mo. Score it. I just shot my shot at this little dot. I'm trying to crack that neck on her big neck. My nigga's selling crazy. Most of these videos are on back in the video. It's got a big body. Banger. It's only two video. Now, first things first, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're on the 4K, you know what I'm saying? Today, I'm the Bill Dillon on the World Corner Crown Show with this Pete Maravich Bill video. Yes, sir, this was requested a while back, and now I am doing it today. So, you know. I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all like it. Obviously, Pete Maravich, a lot of people call him like Sam or draw parallels between him and Steph Curry, at least for his error. You know, they say if there was a three point line, he would be the leading scorer, you know, things like that. And yes, he did drop 68 points at a time where there wasn't a three point line, you know, same how Will Chamberlain dropped 100 points at a time when there wasn't a three point line. And obviously, he was playing in a time where it was a little bit dip more difficult than Will Chamberlain's time, in my opinion, because, you know, I think he played after the merge um and was still balling like crazy and when the three-point line was also in play i think he was shooting like 60 or 50 percent from three which is crazy but yeah without further ado let's get right into the pie charts that i use for this pete maravich build video yes sir okay so obviously for pete maravich i used the playmaking and shooting pie chart split 50 50 you know so i could get hall of fame playmaking badges and hall of fame shooting badges you know so there wasn't really an issue there um but i also did want to be able to make it so that not only was he, he a consistent shooter but he was quick with his first step and consistent with his dribble moves you know but at a higher rate because obviously uh, you know regularly you have the 87 um but three point range i think you start off with and in like high 80s or 90s uh, ball handling but like I wanted it to be able to, so, to make it so it's a little bit higher so you'll see what I do later for that um, but overall you know with the build I just wanted to make an offensive star you know somebody that was offensively gifted in all the areas possible so with the build you know it only, it only has one defensive badge but the attributes are what makes it pretty reliable on defense because once you hit 99 you'll be able to have you know maybe high 70s low 80s you know still ratings if you get boost you know stuff like that that'll allow you to make up for only having one defensive badge but i really wanted to highlight it in the offensive area so you see you have your finishing badges and you have your shooting and playmaking badges as well you know so obviously you're able to score in more ways than one you know you don't have to rely on just dribbling into the rim but you can dribble and get to the rim you know five finishing badges is still more than enough you put on teardropper uh or like fearless finisher acrobat you're going to be able to finish that leg you know but i wanted to make it so that it could shoot limitless it could shoot off ball it could shoot in the post if needed it could break ankles so that's what i went for for p maravich build in real life p maravich was six foot five so i made him six foot five i dropped that weight down to 170 
eight pounds just to get the highest speed possible with the highest weight possible. And then you see with the wingspan, if you really wanted to, you could drop it down and get those the higher attributes as I said before. But see, normally I would put it up, but I just kept it regularly, you know. But if you really want higher ball handling, like I was stating earlier, to make it different and make it more like Pete Maravich, drop the wingspan a little bit. And you see in the shades of I have Pete Maravich, so I did what I had to do, you know. Once again, the best builder in this game, you know, I think y'all should subscribe for, for You know, that's my pitch. Just subscribe. We're on the road to 4K. Keep doing what you got to do. Who else, you know, was getting these shades up? But yeah, as you see right here, as I was saying before, you have more than enough badges to go crazy in all aspects of the game. You have more than enough badges to be a shooter, be a finisher if you need to. And you have that one defensive badge that's standing out a little bit. You know that one defensive badge. You're not a lockdown defender, but you definitely are able to play some defense with the attributes. Obviously, the badges are more important than the attributes in 2K, but still. So you're going to see what this build like. I was going crazy. You know, I was shooting ridiculously. It was ridiculously accurate and efficient from the field you know there wasn't really a weakness in this offensive game aside from the fact that like maybe it's size you could say but six foot five is a good size for a guard in my opinion for current gen 2k you know six five is definitely on the taller end of things you know a lot of people may, might make him six three for a higher speed but i think six five is decent but like obviously if you go against big men in the paint it might be harder to finish and on top of that you are a defensive liability when you're put in the paint so say if you were to switch onto a big man they would probably baby you you know and there's not much you can do about it but it is what it is you know at the end of the day it is what it is you know it's just about really who your teammates are and how you respond to playing with your teammates you know because obviously if you just play with any teammate any random you're more likely to lose you know let's be real you probably need a squad or lineup that is reliable that you can actually play with and that y'all understand each other you know you have chemistry you know it's like real basketball but in 2k you need to have some type of chemistry some type of history whether it's your friends whatever and you'll be all right but still at the end of the day you're just trying to have fun this is definitely one of those typical builds of play making shot creator you know that people used to have fun you know you see it all the time is definitely a little op you know with the what curry slides and the spec the side to side dribbles it's definitely op you know i saw people bringing out rulers with their playmaking shot creators measuring the distance created like what y'all some nerds for that but it is what it is but yeah you know this is definitely one of those builds that is pretty typical but it's pretty fun to play with and if you master it you master it so i hope y'all you know at least consider making it because i in my opinion is definitely worth making it and at least trying it out but yeah that's pretty much the end of the video y'all make sure you like comment and subscribe we're on the road to 4k you know we just came up with this pete maravich build if you want any other builds comment them and i will get to them remember i go away soon but more of it will still be out but until then i'm out peace